Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be replacing the entire lens on this Canon S110. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we have the famous lens error automatically shut down. I've tried different approaches to fixing this. Unfortunately, I have not been able to be successful. I do have other videos about taking the case apart, spraying some compressed air inside there, try to loosen up any dirt or dust that is jammed up in the lens or lens motor. Unfortunately, that didn't work for myself so I'm actually gonna be replacing the whole lens. And I already have a couple little dingers on it right there, as you can see. And if you have a scratch lens, this is actually a really nice replacement as well. The lens is very inexpensive. If they do sell it on Amazon, I'll go ahead and link that below. I got mine on eBay. It's a refurbished, but uh, refurbished is pretty much almost brand new. Anyway, anyway, that was a cheap option to go with the S110s. It is cheaper. So let's go ahead and get into the fix here. First thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and remove the battery out of the camera. And and just in case you want to go ahead and not mess around with any of that. So we'll go ahead and remove. So with the battery removed, fantastic. We'll go ahead and plop that on in there. Now we do have one screw here, one screw here, and this is on the S110 side. Then we flip it around here and we have another screw here, another screw here, and then we also have two screws at the bottom right here and right here, those little black screws. Let's go ahead and grab our small screwdrivers, Phillips, Let's go ahead and take out all six of those and make sure that you're putting these appropriately on a very well colorful napkin or a diagram so you know how to put all these screws back into place here. Okay folks, with the screws out on each side there, like I showed you earlier, the easiest way to do that is just get your fingernail in this little crack here, right next to the holes, and here. This little door here for the HDMI cable might come out on you, and if it does, that's totally okay. Now you do wanna be a little careful separating these things. Again, just get your fingernail in there like that, and that pulls up there, then come around to the other side, do the same thing. Just kind of get your fingernail in there and you want to help the case off. The back comes out pretty easily like that there. Put that aside somewhere careful. Now the front is where you do need to be a little bit careful here as I'll show you in just a split second. So we'll go ahead and help it off. This is where you need to be careful because there is a ribbon right there. And so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and keep that elevated like that. You don't want to tear that ribbon that will create future problems for you there. So now we have access to the inside right here. We do need to remove this little kind of copper heat shield there. We have a screw right here, and that seems to be the only screw right here, which is right there. Let's go ahead and remove that screw, and we'll go ahead and remove that shield there. And this comes up pretty easily. Just lift that up with your fingernail if you want or whatnot. Put that out of the way, and then what I do again is I put the screws over by this, so I know that belongs to that. Of course, these are all the black screws, right side, left side, the bottom of the camera there. Now what we're gonna do, guys, is right up here, we see a screw right there. We're gonna go ahead and remove the screw because we wanna go ahead and lift off the top portion of the camera here. Then we'll go ahead and flip it around and start taking apart the back side just a little bit. And then on this side of the camera here, we're gonna see one screw right here. And that second screw will then release the top plastic portion. And that second screw is smaller, so know which ones are which again, like I mentioned earlier in the video. And again, my front plate is still on with that cable, so we do need to be careful with that. Let's go ahead and quickly bring this over. Let me show you guys kind of gently here again. I'm working with that, being careful with that segment right there. But as we can see now, with the other screw, the second one, the top comes up, but remember we are connected by a little ribbon cable right there. So we do need to be careful with that. It does unclip right here, so we'll probably need to unclip that to remove it completely. And those just kind of flip up just like other type of releases. And definitely be careful, be very gentle with those uh, uh, clasps that tighten down the flex cables. All right guys, so this little tab right here flips from the back of the camera up forward there, and then the little flex ribbon slides right out. Be very gentle with that. Now we're actually gonna come up to the top of the camera here, and we do have this still hanging on you see a very small little green chipboard right here for the other end of the flex cable there. What we wanna do, there's actually two screws on that. We wanna go ahead and remove this. Just remember the layout and how it actually is pieced back together. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove that top portion altogether there. And there we go, it's removed here. It is set right over there. Just be careful again with that. You don't wanna separate that portion from this portion here. Again, just remove the two screws, place it out of the way. And this is what our camera looks like right now. We're still connected here. Be careful with that ribbon. Now let's go to the next step. All right, now we actually flip the camera back around here and the easiest thing to do is put your cover back on so that flex ribbon cable isn't all messed up and then what we do here is we're going to go ahead and remove a screw down here one Phillips and then one right up here at the top 
So one down here at the bottom right, one up here at the top left there. Let's go ahead and remove those two, and then we'll go ahead and be able to remove our display there. Okay, with those two screws removed here, again, remember the layout. You might wanna take a few cell phone shots. We're gonna go ahead and remove that little bracket here, which is only up top there and down the right side. We'll go ahead and place that carefully out of the way. And then you can put your screws next to it if you want, but those two screws are the same size and those go to that one right there. All right guys, from this position here, you're looking over on the right side. This little tab right here might get in the way. You might have to carefully with your fingernail, just bring that to the right a little bit. And then what happens is this whole entire back piece is connected to the display here. A little bit tough with one hand, but it actually raises up and you just wanna be gentle with it. And it kind of comes up like this. Again, right there from the bottom of the LCD. We do have a flex ribbon cable up the top right. Be careful with that, but we want access to these screws down here. Let me go ahead and mount this tripod a little bit better. We'll go ahead and work on this portion. All right, guys, to get access to the screws that I need to release for the lens barrel, I took off this kind of a copper heat shield right here. It is clipped right on top right here as we can see right there. You just slightly get your fingernail under there, pop that little slider thing up, and then with your hand on, the display lifting it up, it just kind of slides out to the left there. Real simple, that's out of the way now. Now we can have access to our screws that we need to unscrew so we can get the lens barrel free and then we'll go ahead and turn it around and open up the front here. Back of the display lit up right here in front of us. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and remove this top one up here. That is number one. Then we're gonna come down here to number two and over here to number three. Again, one right here, one right here, and one down here. Loosen up those three, put those safely out of the way. Remove this screw right up here and this screw right here. That's gonna remove the flash, loosen up the flash area in the front, which I'm gonna to get to in just a second so that you can get the lens barrel out and remove that screw right there. And the last one to the right, right there where my thumb is pointing to. Again, so you're gonna have four around the edge outer portion and then three in the middle. And as we can see here, right up on top of these ribbons here, there are little black tabs. You just gotta go ahead and just carefully push those up like that off of those little tabs here so that you have access to the front. Let's go ahead and open up the camera now again. All right, now guys, with that, you can carefully just kind of remove that out of the way. Just be careful with that. And now what we're looking at here is we're looking at the ribbon cables right here, here, and here. This big one just flips up with your fingernail. These ones, the little black tab right here flips from left to right. Again, left to right, left to right on that one. If you ever get confused, just look at your new one here and we have one ribbon down the bottom, the big ribbon, and then the ribbon up top there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and carefully do that with one hand here. And now with those cables out of the way, and all the screws on the back taken up, it literally should just come right up. Just be gentle with it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and do that a little more gently. And the lens barrel lifts up, you need to slide it out from the left. So again, pick it up gently, slide it out to the left, comes right back out. And the old one is out, my friends. If your new one did not come with this little dust seal, I think it is right there, go ahead and remove that one, put it on the new one. That's if your new one didn't come with it. But again, I'm not sure if you would find that out until after you would open up the new one. I'm pretty sure this one does have a new one on there as well. So probably don't need to add anything to it. All right, now literally all you're gonna do is you're gonna put the new one back in, put it all back together the exact same way. I just showed you how to dismantle it and then we're gonna go ahead and test it here. All right guys, if you guys are running into any potential problems with it still not functioning properly, you wanna check this ribbon cable right here. Some people report having to reseat that ribbon cable, meaning that if it does not still work on you, you wanna flip up that tab, pull it back out, reseat it, meaning put it back in, try that a few times until it works. Again, people have reported having an issue with that. So make sure that the cables are seated properly. This one is all the way pushed down and you should be good to go. Let's go ahead and finish putting it all back together. We just have a few little things to do left and we will go ahead and test it. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth, I'm right here with you first round of testing. Again, if it does not work, we'll reseat that one cable. So I'm right here with you and in five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. It's fired up, ladies and gentlemen. First round. Set time and date. You will have to do that all over again for some oddball reason. Don't know why. Let me go ahead and turn it off. And it goes right back in. Let's do that one more time. Goes out. 
and set time and date and goes back in. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, you have officially fixed your Canon S110. Congratulations. Way to save a lot of money because Canon quoted me $147 or $178, I forget. One or the other, very expensive. You just fix it for very cheaply. Again, look in the description box below for some of these tools. I will try to link this lens if it sells on Amazon still. If not, check out eBay. I got it for about $30 on eBay. It's a Canon refurbished, brand new refurbished lens. Fantastic, I'm super excited about this, guys. And make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more videos, a lot more how-to videos. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel because it's free. Happy New Year, guys.